All right, let's continue on with section 3.1, the surface area of prisms. We're going to go on to the first example. Example 3.1.1. The vendor builds a fence around his yard. To make the gate, he cuts four pieces from 2 by 4 lumber for the frame. So that's, I believe, that's this one here. There's the gate. And one piece is a diagonal brace. Here's the diagonal brace. For the fence pickets, he's using 2x2 two two lumber, and they are cut at this 45 degrees each. Um, what is the shape? Which, what is the shape of each of the pieces he uses for the frame? So for the frame. This is going to be a rectangular prism. So we're going to draw out a rectangular prism in three dimensions. Now, there's different ways to do this. Um, so I'm just going to start with the front face, and it's going to go back like this. There you go. That is the face for the rectangular. Pr it's a rectangular prism. Now, a rectangular prism has a rectangle, and then it's dragged through the whole prism. It's extruded. But for a rectangular prism, you can take like this end and say it's extruded this way. It goes all the way that way. Now, let's look at this brace right here. Now the brace is going to look a little different. I'm going to draw it in a little bit of a different style. So the brace is going to be it's going to look something like this. Then it'll go out a little bit, really thin, like this. This is going to be a trapezoidal prism. So this here is our trapezoid. And the trapezoid is brought through in that direction. So you can see here, trapezoidal prism. And you can see that the fence pickets are going to be the same thing. They're also trapezoidal prism, <clears throat> same, of the same style. The fence pickets are also a trapezoidal prism. So if you want to figure out, if you want to take one of these braces, and let's draw it, as a net. We're going to draw a net for this. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got one trapezoid. Then there's going to be a thin piece here that we fold it on. Then we've got the other trapezoid. Then there's going to be another piece here. And then we have the end piece here for this side and the end piece here for this side. So this will be this will be the net for this trapezoidal prism. Okay, so see so this here would be this front face. This would be this top face. This would be a bottom face down here, like this. This end piece would be here, and this end piece will be here. So you need to be able to take complex shapes like this and turn them into nets. All right now, we don't have to do anything else with this question.